What's up, you filthy animals? So today, I wanted to talk about um, some weird shit, man. I work, I have so many jobs, right? I work on the weekends at a restaurant waiting tables uh, in a nice area where I get to meet a lot of affluential people. Uh, surrounding yourself with people that live the lifestyle that you want to allows you to embody it and manifest positivity into your life. Um, I own a construction company. Um, so whenever we get jobs, I get the guys that are amazing at the work that they do and we get in there and we get it done. It's very exciting. I like to do it. It's fun. Uh, let's see. Um, I also have a mobile bartending business. What else? eBay store. I'm trying to make a little YouTube channel thing. Share some of this information with you guys. I've been sober for five and a half years and um, I love this version of myself. And people probably wonder why in the hell would somebody work five, six jobs? I'm engaged and be married soon. You know, she's got kids. So my life is busy, but I like it. And it's one of the many things like working out that keeps me centered. You know, I remember before when I shattered my wrist and the doctor put me on pain meds and I got addicted and uh, got in trouble, messed my whole life up. Um, I lost everything and I had to sit in a cell around some real dirtbag people for a long period of time before I could be out and be free. And one of the first things I noticed when I got out was a lot of people are very ungrateful about the the wonderful things that they have in their lives there is a there's a big difference between having to do something and getting to do something for instance everybody would say around me even the guys that were getting out of prison too they'd be man i have to go to work today i have to go to work today i remember the whole time I, i've been working since i was 15 i've been on my own since i was 15 i could not wait to go to work i couldn't wait to go I was so excited. Everybody else, oh man, I have to go to work today. I can't wait to go to work today. I can't wait to go be around people that have been living life the right way so I can become the version of the man that I'm destined to become. Because the old version of me, being a slave to depression, being a slave to uh, drugs, um, that's not me. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not what my parents made me to be. That's not who I am. And I'm doing nobody any uh, justice by living that kind of lifestyle so um, my point is you don't have to do things you get to do them a good friend of mine uh, Elmer Locker jr. his grandfather told him that if you imagine yourself with no shoes imagine a man with no legs to me that's pretty profound and deep there's always somebody that has it a lot worse than we do, so we should always try to remain grateful for the things we already have. Anyways, moving forward, um, today I got a, what brought this up is I got a pinched nerve in my neck and it is extremely difficult to uh, work out the last week, um, but I'm not the type of person to quit, so I did everything that did not affect my, no, my neck, my shoulder. Um, within reason and the things that I had proper range of motion with lightweight I did do some heavy legs during that time I'm in bulking season right now like I told you guys I'm trying to gain 50 pounds back at least during this bulking season so uh, I'm gonna starting to get better I watched something from Barbara O'Neill where she was talking about celery and how um, if you juice it it helps with inflammation I don't know if it was a combination of ice heat celery juice whatever uh but something something worked so i feel a little bit better today i'm gonna do some more lightweight uh high repetition stuff just to keep the blood flowing um i'm not the train of mind that if you hurt something it's good to use the other things around it as long as it's not causing that area pain your body will let you know like hey that's messed up your mind will say how oh, that hurts if it doesn't hurt and you're doing a range of motion, you're increasing blood flow to your body. Your body is an amazing entity. It's an amazing uh, machine. And in, in it, if you combine that with your mind and positivity and positive thoughts, you can manifest healing more. It's, it's an incredible thing. So 
my point is, is, uh, you know, I don't know what the hell my point is. Just, uh, watch the damn videos. Learn whatever the hell you can learn. Have fun. Enjoy life and bust your ass. Because you could always have it a lot worse. We all have a lot to be grateful for. You know, I get to go to the gym and work out with a messed up neck. I'm excited about that. Call me crazy. But it's fun. Uh, I enjoy it. It gives me peace. So, I love you guys. Hope you have a blessed day. I'm going to show you some stuff today. And uh, stay tuned.